Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a large mandala or dream catcher using yarn and a hula hoop. These serve as nice decorations for both indoors or outside. You can find the written pattern on my website, Nastasia.com. To do this, you'll need a hula hoop, scissors, a large crochet hook, and three colors of yarn. I like worsted weight in 100% acrylic. This is a more advanced crochet project, so you'll need to know how to already crochet these stitches. To begin, make a slip knot. Chain 5. Slip stitch to the first stitch. Be sure to pause this video if a section goes too fast or too slow for you. For round one, we'll begin by making a chain one. Next, we'll do eight single crochet stitches in the ring. Slip stitch to the first stitch. For round two, we're going to do a special cluster stitch. For the first cluster, chain three. And then make two double crochet stitches leaving the remaining loop of each on the hook. Then proceed to take all of them off. Chain three. For the next cluster, make three double crochet stitches in this special way. Chain three. Proceed around with making clusters with three chains in between. You'll have eight total clusters once completed. At the end, chain three and slip stitch to the first stitch. For round three, we're going to be making chain five stitches around. First into the loop, and then into the top of the previous round's cluster. At the end, you'll chain two and do a double crochet stitch to the first stitch. This positions your hook in the middle of a loop for the next round. For round four, You'll do chain five stitches in each loop again. At the end, chain two and make a double crochet stitch to the first stitch. For round five, you'll increase the chains to six around. We're going to switch colors shortly. So for this ending, chain two and make a treble crochet stitch, but don't finish it. Instead, grab your next color and pull it through to complete the stitch. For round six, we'll do a cluster followed by a chain seven all the way around. At the end, chain three and treble crochet to the first stitch. For round seven, do a series of nine chains around with a single crochet in each loop. At 
At the end, make a chain four, followed by a double treble into the first stitch. Round eight, do the same thing. Chain nine around with a single crochet in each loop. End the same way as the previous round. For round nine, we're going to increase the chains to 10. Single crochet in each loop. At the end, chain five, and do a double treble into the first stitch, but don't finish the stitch. Connect your third color yarn. For your last round, do a cluster stitch. followed by a chain 11. We're going to wrap the chain 11 a special way around the hoop as we crochet. It's best to wrap a small ball of yarn with just 40 or 50 yards of yarn. You'll need to slip the ball of yarn under the hoop with the hook to position it so that you can crochet the hoop right into the stitches. You are going to find that by using this large hook, it makes the stitches nice and stretchy so that it fits into the hoop nicely. At the end, just slip stitch to the first stitch. Adjust the stitches as needed for your mandala or dream catcher. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.